So in this NFL video, I want to talk about the Los Angeles Chargers trading Austin Eckler to the Cincinnati Bengals and why it actually makes so much sense uh, for the 2023 um, NFL season. As always, leave your thoughts down below in the comment section of this video and let's get right into it. So uh, Austin Eckler is a player that has been talked about the last couple weeks now in regards to a trade candidate uh, to be traded this 2023 NFL offseason and even prior to the 2023 NFL draft. Now, I really do think that Austin Eckler wants to remain on the Los Angeles Chargers. Um, I really do think that at this point, you know, it's a great fit for him and Justin Herbert uh, in his system. He's a good passing option for him. He succeeded um, tremendously well the last couple of years. I think he wants to stay there, uh, but the Chargers are in sort of a tough spot where they have to make, you know, a tough decision in regards to extending Austin Eckler long term as he gets into uh, as he gets into uh, the latter half of his NFL career. So typically speaking, it's not great value to extend a you know a running back on his third contract, and that's what Austin Eckler would be making um, and signing with the Los Angeles Chargers. So I'm not really too sure. Um, if that's going to be an option for them, which is why I think that maybe a trade um, is going to be more likely to happen. And I think the Cincinnati Bengals are a team that you have to keep an eye on um, in regards to an Austin Eckler trade uh, because of the possible subtraction of Joe Mixon this offseason. Now, there have been some reports and some rumblings of uh, the Bengals potentially moving off of Joe Mixon. Um, he could be a cap casualty this year. He could be cut at any point. And if that were to happen, um, I actually do think Austin Eckler would make a lot of sense. Now, for 2023, uh, I believe Austin Eckler is only making around like $6 million. So it's not a super big commitment financially. Now, um, after this season, if you don't extend him, he's going to walk in free agency for nothing. And I think Austin Eckler, if he were to get traded, he would probably be expecting a new contract like um, immediately upon um, among being traded. So I don't think Austin Eckler wants to play this year out on the last year of his contract. I think in a perfect world for him, um, he gets traded, signs an extension somewhere, and then just goes ball and, and balls out on the football field. But uh, I think if you were to add Austin Eckler to this team uh, in Cincinnati, give him a long-term contract. You can still uh, take advantage of Joe Burrow being relatively cheap, uh, Jamar Chase T. Higgins being relatively cheap, and you can afford a little bit, especially in the short term, to pay Austin Eckler. Now, a couple of years down the road when Joe Burrow needs a big-time extension, Jamar Chase needs a big-time extension, T. Higgins needs a big-time extension, one of those guys probably are going to be out, and I would say at this point it'd have to be T. Higgins. They're not going to trade Joe Burrow or Jamar Chase, um, so you kind of have a, would have a big three of Joe Burrow, um, Austin Eckler, and Jamar Chase. And it might not be the smartest thing to do, but Austin Eckler does add a you know an element to his game that he's you know a, a great pass catching back, um, and this could definitely you know be beneficial in Joe Burrow's offense, uh, lighten the load a little bit for Jamar Chase and T. Higgins uh, in the passing game, and make this Bengals offense a lot more dangerous. Uh, if he can emulate what he did with Los Angeles with Joe Burrow, which he most definitely could, uh, I think the Bengals could definitely be Super Bowl favorites if this trade were to happen. This, of course, is all stemming if Joe Burrow is cut or not. Um, if Joe Burrow is not released by the team, then they're not going to trade for him, obviously. But if he is, I actually do think the Bengals would make a lot of sense for um, a Austin Eckler trade if the Los Angeles Chargers were to actually trade him. So, um, as always, leave your thoughts down below in the comment section of this video. Thanks again for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.